Recall that we said that two shapes are congruent if they are the same shape and the same size. If two shapes are the same shape but may be different sizes, then they're called similar. Let me show you an example. These two L shapes are similar. You'll notice that every little square here matches up to a 4x4 four four block over here. They're the same shape, just drawn on different sized grids. We're used to seeing things that are the same shape and different sizes. Imagine watching a movie on a big screen TV versus watching the same movie on a cell phone screen. You're seeing the same shapes, but the ones on the big screen TV are much bigger. That is an example of a similar figure. Now when we have similar figures, the angles are all the same, and the side lengths, they might be different, but they're proportional. So what do I mean by that? One way to think about it is, the ratios between corresponding sides of the two figures are constant. So what do I mean by that? In this example up here, the ratio is a half. So here's a side of the big figure. It's four units long. Here's the corresponding side of the little figure. It's two units long. Here's a side of the big figure. It's six units long. Here's the corresponding side of the little figure. It's three units long. In general, we can take any side of the big figure, multiply its length by a half, and get the length of the side of the little figure. But it turns out there's a more useful way for our purposes of understanding this. For our purposes, it's going to be easier to think of this as saying the ratio of a pair of sides is the same in either figure. So in the big figure, the ratio between the two sides I marked was 4 to 6. In the little figure, the ratio between the two sides I marked was 2 to 3. And we can see that those really are equivalent fractions. Now, we're not going to be very interested in any old similar figures. We're going to be most interested in similar triangles. Which raises the question, how do we know that we have similar triangles on our hands? For congruent triangles, we learned lots of rules. For similar triangles, we're really only interested in one. If a pair of triangles have two angles the same, then they are similar triangles. And in fact, there's one specific circumstance that we're going to be most interested in. And that's the one where we have a pair of triangles that look like this. I have a big triangle with a little triangle sitting inside it. Right? You can see the little triangle sitting inside the big triangle. And they both have right angles at the corners. Right, and we know they have right angles at the corners because we know that the grid lines are perpendicular. And these two sides agree with grid lines. We also know that this angle is the same between the two triangles because it's actually identically the same. In this picture, the red and green triangles are similar. And we can use that. to figure out this height, which we can't see easily from the grid lines. How? Well, this length is 2. This longer length is 6. And this length is 4. So I'm going to set up this inside ratio first, because I want to set it up so that the x is on top. 
I've got x over 2. The side that corresponds to the x is 4 long. The side that corresponds to the 2 is 6 long. I know how to solve an equation that looks like this. Right? I just multiply both sides by 2. Multiplying by 2 cancels out dividing by 2. I get x equals 8 sixths, or I can simplify that to 4 thirds. This height then is just 4 thirds. This is the sort of picture with similar triangles that we're going to be most interested in. The one where we have one right angled triangle inside of another. And we know they're similar because the right angles are the same size and the angles that are actually the same angle are obviously the same size.